like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. Now you might be thinking why to subscribe my channel, School Studies. You will get daily one video related to different topic or subject which will help you to understand or learn more. In this channel, you will get videos related to different subjects such as English grammar, general knowledge, social science, mathematics or science. In that, today we will see a video related to science subject and that today's topic is NCRT solution for class 7 science chapter 9 soy. So before begin with the chapter exercise, let's revise what we have learned in the chapter. So let's do the summary of the chapter. Soil is important for life on the earth. Soil profile is a section to different layers of the soil. Various layers are called horizon. Soil is of different types. Clay, loamy and sandy. Precolation rate of water is different in different types of soil. It is highest in the sandy soil and least in the clay soil. Different types of soils are used to cultivate different types of crops. Clay and loam are suitable for growing wheat, gum and bread. Cotton is grown in sandy loam soil. Soil holds water in it which is called soil moisture. The capacity of a soil to hold water is important for various crops. Clay soil is used to make pots, toys and statues. Now, let's do the exercise of the textbook. So the first question in the textbook is, tick the most suitable answer in question 1 and 2. So question 1 is, in addition to the rock particles, the soil contains... The options are air and water, water and plants, minerals, organic matter, air and water, water, air and plants. So the correct answer is third, that is minerals, organic matter, air and water. Second, the water holding capacity is the highest in. The options are sandy soil, clay soil, loamy soil and mixture of sand and loam. The correct answer is clay soil. Question 3. Match the items in column 1 with those in column 2. So in the column 1, the items are a home for living organism, upper layer of the soil, sandy soil, middle layer of the soil, clay soil. In column 2, the items are large particles, all kinds of soil, dark in color, small particles and packed tight lesser amount of humus so let's see the correct answers so the first one is a home for living organism so all kind of soil upper layer of the soil is dark in color sandy soil has a large particles middle layer of the soil lesser amount of humus clay soil small particles and packed tight Question 4. Explain how soil is formed. So, let's find it out how soil is formed. A big and heavy rocks are broken into small pieces come on the surface of the earth. Soil is formed by breaking down of rocks by the action of wind, water and climate. This process is called weathering. The smaller particles of the rocks obtained due to weathering get further decomposed on long exposure to air and moisture. Finally, the decomposed parts of dead plants and animals get mixed up with some soil formed by above processes. This gives the soil enough energy in the form of organic matter. So question 5. How is clay soil useful for crops? So, the clay soil retains water to a great extent. Thus, the crops which require more water grow well in clay soil. 
Question 6. List the difference between clay soil and sandy soil. So sandy soil and clay soil, the difference, the first difference is, it is uh, in sandy soil, high percolation rate is there. In clay soil, the rate is low. In sandy soil, low water retention capacity is there. In clay soil, the water retention capacity is high. Question 7. List the differences between clay soil and sandy soil. So sketch cross section of the soil and label the various layers. So this is the cross section of the soil. The various layers are A horizon, B horizon, C horizon and parent rock. It is known as bedrock. Now, question 8. Razia conducted an experiment in the field related to the rate of precolation. She observed that it took 40 minutes for 8 200 milliliter of water to precolate through the soil sample. Calculate the rate of precolation. So, the given amount of water is 200 ml. That is, uh, time taken is 40 minutes. So, rate of precolation is amount of water upon minutes so 200 milliliter upon 40 minutes so we can cut 40 and 200 we will get 5 so it is 5 milliliter per minute ninth question explain how soil so pollution and soil erosion could be pre prevented so the answer is Prevention of soil pollution first. There should be a ban on polythene bags and plastics. Waste products and chemicals should be treated before they are released into the soil. The use of pesticides should be minimized. Now how we will prevent soil erosion? So by growing trees, avoid deforestation, maintaining poles, structure of soil, control and reclamation of ravines and shifting of cultivation. Question 10. Explain how soil pollution and soil erosion should be prevented. We have to solve the following crossword puzzle in, with the clues given. So in the cross section, it is plantation prevents it. Use should be banned to avoid soil pollution. Types of soil used for making poetry. Living organisms in the soil. In the down section, the questions are In desert soil, erosion occurs through clay and loam are suitable for cereals like This type of soil can hold very little water. Collective name for layers of soil. So let's see the answer. So first answer is wind. So this is the answers. In the cross, the first is erosion, then polythene, clay and earthworm. In down section, wind, sand, profile and wheat. So this was the solution of exercise of textbook. Of chapter 7 standard 7 science I hope you liked my video thanks for watching my video thank you